What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Dev Pro Duel video in Ranked, and this time I'm going to be playing with Draco Pals again, because I mean, why not, right? I like, I just might as well put up multiple Duel videos in a gay, in like, a, in a gay, in a day. Um, because like, it just seems pretty, it seems pretty logical to do so. Uh, simply because, ah, ooh, this hand is insane. Ooh, ha! Um, this hand is really good, holy shit. Um... But, uh, I just, I figured I would play more with it, because I'm in the middle of grinding on Ranked, and so, like, I decided to just film another video, uh, because might as well. And it looks like I'm playing against the same guy, like, I literally recorded that video hours ago, um, uh, and I'm playing against the same guy again. Interesting. Uh, interesting indeed. Well, that was really good. Whoa. And I can summon the Lizard Draw, because this is the right scale for it, too, like, if I wanted to, but I'm definitely going to just put Master here. Um, if I put Master here, then I can just Pendulum those out. I can end with, uh, with, uh, Dino Stare. Dino Stare getting these back, and then, a uh, Rank 4. Probably Magister. Yeah. Seems alright. So I've got Warning, and I've got Arch Phoenix Centric. Seems pretty alright. It's not the best, but definitely couldn't... Could be, uh, definitely could be worse. It's definitely, like, just cycling through cards, and then next turn, like, I've got the Archfiend plus whatever I search off of this, so, like, my play is very explosive. Uh, pop these just to play around Wavering if I'm playing the Mirror, and then search uh, Geturtle and Skullcrobat, and then Skullcrobat will search for, um, probably Monkey Board, uh, just because that would be, like, the guaranteed scale. Well, am I making Magister or am I making Giant Hand? I think I might just make Giant Hand, honestly. Um... Let's see, I think F1 is to look at my graveyard. It is. Aha! Shortcut command. So I've got that. And then uh, F3 is the extra deck. Uh, I finally have been told these commands after years of being ignorant to them. Uh, but yeah, so if I just get... Um, if I... I'm going to be able to... I'm going to be able to make Dino Stare get back that and make a rank 4. So I think I just want to make Magister and set Warning. Uh, but Giant Hand is a defensive card, but I mean still... Um, yeah, I'll just get Monkey Board. Monkey board is just always, it's just the smartest thing to do. Especially since I have uh, Turtle plus Arch Phoenix Centric plus all these. Like, I've got these, I've got all of these things that are options. Um, but yeah, so Dino Stir, Dino Stir off of this and this so that I can continually pendulum summon out sorcerers. Then activate this to bring back the Master Engrave. And then overlay into a, a Giant Hondo just to be a defensive card. Because I've already got my scale and stuff set up in my hands, plus I've got spot removal, I've got a bunch of different stuff. Um, I ended up going plus one off that, I could have gone plus two off of it if I went with the Magister play, obviously, but like, it just, it doesn't seem needed. I'm curious as to what I'm playing against, and like, at worst case, I don't want this to get like Twin Twisted or MST'd and then not have any defense, period. And like, Giant Hand also just is better for this because I can literally just go Giant Hand, detach both materials, and then the start of my next turn is with Dinoster bringing back Master. Uh, depending off what I draw. Like, if I draw Luster, I'm just going to normal summon that, making Mister. Um, stuff like that. Um, tour Guide. Okay, so you're playing probably Burning Abyss, uh, which means I'm going to attach both of these and negate that. Because, I mean, it seems logical to save the warning, right? Shadal Fusion? Warning! You're playing Shadal BA? Question mark? Confused. Confused I am. Uh, do you have another Shadal Fusion? I mean, shit, man. Surrendered? Well. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I have pretty much game next turn anyway over a tour guide if you have no back row, so I'm assuming you have nothing. Uh, because I've got these. I've got this to pop at least one back row, so you have to have multiple back row to even do anything. So this pops one, and then these are a scale. Searching more cards, penduluming out these, Dinoster stays. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just game, so I'm pretty sure that's why he surrendered. Or left. I actually can't remember what it said, but anyway... I guess that'll be it for this video. I'm going to do more of these. I'm going to actually flood this uh, a day with Draco Powell ranked videos, basically, just because I want to do so. So I'm going to at least do one more, and then I'm going to switch off to a different deck, because I understand that you guys do not want to see this deck for an extended period of time, because some of you get, like, traumatized from it, or you got shell shock because you're like, oh, my deck's not good enough to be better than Draco Pals, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Check out the links in the description of my Facebook pages and my Twitch links. If you want to support me any old way, click an ad. It just really helps. Click an ad on the video. Same old, same old. But other than that, that is all for this video. And as always, guys, take care.